good job. It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 strangest weapons used in a WWE match. For whatever reason, sometimes in wrestling you get weird weapon choices. When I think of a weapon, I'm thinking of like a uh, a steel pipe, a crowbar, something of that sort. And then sometimes in WWE they use food as a weapon. It's it's a real thing. WWE can be weird sometimes in their creative decisions. So let's see what other weird weapons the company has used in the past. Appreciate all the love and support. Once again, road to 70k and uh let's get right into this thing. Chairs, ladders, tables. Chairs, ladders, tables. All of these are commonly associated with weapons that are frequently used in a hardcore match in WWE. Mm -hmm. However, there have been occasions where WWE superstars have brought out a rather unorthodox and rare item to use as a dangerous Sweet. weapon. Ooh. But which ones were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the strangest weapons Why ever used man, in a I, WWE match. I don't know. If someone can tell me why a banana would be used as a, a viable weapon in a match and make it make sense, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos you. and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Dog Poop. The Attitude Era had its fair share of bizarre segments, and one of the most bizarre was the time that The Rock executed a rock bottom on the British Bulldog into a tray of real dog poop. This was during Bulldog's lackluster return to the WWE, as Bulldog had been placed in a high-profile feud with one of WWE's biggest stars and was supposed to be the break he needed. But Bulldog's body was far too damaged to keep up with the younger talents on the roster, such as the Great One himself. The slide, but during the build the, towards this match, WWE shoes. would book a tag team match between the Rock and Sock Connection versus Val Venus and the Bulldog. And this match ended in a no contest following the Rock delivering the Rock this. bottom on a tray of dog poop. The segment was rather disgusting and it completely killed all of Bulldog's credibility. I think I, I do remember this segment uh, growing up. Uh, yeah. Uh, why? I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Just like, why? You're heading into his major pay per view showdown with The Rock. Number 9, An Artificial Leg. The In Your House Good Friends Better Enemies pay-per-view in 96 was notable for being one of the last WWE pay-per-view appearances of Diesel and Razor Ramon before they departed the company for WCW. The main event of the pay-per-view featured Shawn Michaels defending the WWE title against Diesel and the match became infamous for a rather bizarre weapon that was used in it. During the match, Diesel would attack Mag Dog Vashon, who was sitting in the crowd, and he proceeded to remove his artificial leg. What? Strangely, Diesel then attempted to use the leg as a weapon, but HBK dodged the attack and was able to use the leg against Diesel to win it. Number oh, that's, 8, Kitchens. That's so fucked up, bro. <laughs> Just give me my leg back. Like, what the f <laughs> That's so messed up. Sink. A Jeff Jarrett showdown with oh. China at the 1999 No Mercy pay-per-view acted as the first and only good housekeeping match in WWE history, thankfully. The gimmick match surfaced after Jarrett had debuted a new gimmick which revolved around sexism and China was his main target. Yeah, we can... they can never do anything like this nowadays. Woo! Woo! They could never do that, boy. They would... Woo! They... People would definitely try to cancel WWE for sure. The match featured a number of household items at their expense. At one stage of the match, Jarrett would hit China with a fish, and China would proceed to sell this as if she had just been hit with a bro, steel chair. A fish, also during bro, the match, a, f a fucking fish. China hit Jarrett with the kitchen sink. It looked brutal and naturally led to a ton of puns being delivered by Jerry Lawler on commentary. Everything the finish of the, the match involved sink. China using Jarrett's own trademark guitar to hit him over the head. She could then pin him and become the first ever female intercontinental champion in WWE history. Wow. Number seven, a bowling ball. In theory, the bowling ball is one of the most dangerous weapons a WWE superstar can possibly get their hands on, and the item has been used a number of times throughout WWE history. It was commonly used during the Attitude Era, partly during matches for the oh. hardcore title. It's also been used in a number of major WWE matches during the PG era, including Cena vs. Alberto Del Rio in 2012 and Elias vs. Bobby Lashley in 2018. <sighs> How it's used is usually the same. It's usually rolled by the babyface into the heel's groin region who happens to be sitting in the corner of the turnbuckle. Ouch. Number 6. Oxygen Tank 
Now, it's not uncommon for wrestlers to cheat to win championships. Yep. Shelton Benjamin decided to take this one step oh, further shit. back in 2006 when he decided to use his mother's own oxygen tank. I'm done, bro. <laughs> I mean, it is a weapon. It's just the fact you take your own mom's oxygen tank to beat somebody with it. I guess that's the only thing there. As a weapon to secure the Intercontinental Championship. This was during a strange portion of Shelton's career as he would begin to be managed by his own mother in his matches. Yeah. The match the oxygen tank was used in was a match against Ric Flair on Raw. And during <laughs> the closing moments of it, Shelton's mother began to fake a heart attack. And this distraction allowed Shelton to use his own mother's oxygen Beep. tank as a weapon on Flair to secure the huge victory. Number 5. A Pencil one of Dean Ambrose's last matches during his time in WWE was a false count anywhere match on the March 11th, 2019 edition of Raw against Drew McIntyre. The match was supposed to act as a huge moment for Drew as he was finally going to defeat the former champion heading into WrestleMania 35. Now, during the match, there were battle on the announce table and Drew actually took a pencil from the announce table and stabbed it right in Ambrose's eye. <laughs> they pulled the John Wick. That's the John Wick maneuver. If you know anything about the John Wick movies, you know what he can do with a pencil. Definitely go check out those movies. Hella entertaining. He pulled a John Wick there. Of course, he didn't really stab him in the eye, but you know. It was kind of a brutal moment for the PG era, and fans questioned if Ambrose and Drew went off script to use it. The Raw announcers acted shocked at the attack, but they never actually addressed what had actually taken place. Number four, a bag of popcorn. A a WWE was popcorn, so popular bro. in the year 1999 <laughs> that Vince McMahon decided to air an episode of Heat during the Super Bowl halftime show. The show featured one single match, and that would be The Rock defending his WWE title against Mankind mm -hmm. in an empty the arena empty match. Arena. The match itself was a great match in what would become an iconic rivalry, but during this one, Mankind decided to use a bag, bag of, of popcorn, popcorn on The Rock. Now, although this wouldn't have hurt too much, The Rock rather hilariously decided he to oversell it. That shit. Mankind were going to win the match and once again capture the WWE title. Number three, a potted plant. Following WrestleMania 32 in 2016, one of the biggest feuds to begin on television was a feud between Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho. The two decorated superstars' feud escalated when Ambrose debuted the Ambrose Asylum talk show, which would act as a replacement for the popular highlight reel. The two would meet at the payback pay-per-view in a grudge match, which Ambrose would win, but it was the next night on Raw where things really escalated. As part of Ambrose's set for his talk show, he would have a potted plant known as Mitch. During a segment on Raw, a brawl would ensue between the two rivals oh, yeah, and Jericho would actually this, hit yeah. Ambrose over the head with yeah. Mitch. According to Jericho himself, it was his idea to use the bizarre weapon in the infamous feud. During an Inside the Ropes tour, Jericho revealed, We put the potted plant in the ring and then my idea was that at some point in time I would use this potted plant as a weapon. So I had a bunch of highlight reels over the next few months and I would keep the potted plant in there every time. And finally, the idea was that I would have a highlight reel with Ambrose and then hit him with a potted plan. So we do the angle and I hit him with the potted plan and he misses SmackDown next week. He's got a contusion. He's got a concussion. He's got all these injuries. But all anybody was talking about was the potted plant being broken. And then some <laughs> genius at WWE shop gave it the name of Mitch the Potted Plant. And I was like, no, stop it. This is like an assault with a deadly weapon. It's a potted plant. <laughs> Oh, man, I remember seeing that now. Uh, <laughs> the potty plant didn't deserve that treatment, Jericho. The potty plant due to you, man. <laughs> we don't care about Ambrose being out. That potty plant, man. <laughs> Mitch the potty plant for WWE Championship. Book it. <laughs> Just put them back together. <laughs> Number two, the Lego. Have you uh, never stepped on a I've, brick of Lego? I think just I've know seen how this painful before. it can be. Now and just yes, imagine a body painful. being slammed into a ton yeah, that, of differently shaped that Lego bricks. Is actually this painful. happened a number of times. And this is one of those things where people make a joke out of it. But if you've ever stepped on Lego, which I have, it does not feel good. So imagine all your body weight just being like thrown onto some Legos. You're going to feel that. Times throughout WWE history, and it no doubt must have been incredibly painful for whomever had to take the bump. During the Elias That's versus Bobby painful, Lashley bro. miracle on 34th Street fight in 2018, Lashley took a... I really hope they don't do any weird, cringe Christmas gimmick matches. You know they are, because WWE's... They're just known for just doing cringe stuff for the holidays. I'm pretty sure they're going to have something related to Christmas 
steamed and it's gonna be hella cringe. A huge bump into the Lego bricks, oh! which no doubt left a former champion in immense pain. Oh! The following year, during a match between Heavy Machinery and the Revival, Otis would body slam Scott Dawson into the Lego to the delight of the live audience. And number be honest, that actually does hurt <laughs> you can't that's one of those things where it's like it's up there with tax even though tax punctured the skin it's still kind of painful to just all your body weight fall on some legos painful it's it, they're sharp rigid they don't break it's just you just you have lego imprints in your skin for the for the rest of the day one a fireball a fireball was yep. mainly used as a weapon during the Attitude Era, mm -hmm. as during this time period, Kane on occasion would use the fireball as a weapon and it fit perfectly with his character and gimmick. But fast forward to 2021 and WWE would bring <sighs> it back as it likes to blitz through yeah. a fireball in the face of Randy Orton during Orton's intense feud with the Fiend mm -hmm. Bray Wyatt. This was completely unexpected as throwing a fireball in the PG Era was something that fans never expected, but nevertheless it happened and it looked awesome on television. But they have it first. Yeah, it looked cool on television. It was just the person executing it was hella cringe. That, that's the only thing. And not because she's cringe in general. Just the booking of her character. It just, it went downhill quickly. So, but yeah, this was an enjoyable video. A lot of cringe weapons were used. Uh, my favorite one of all from this video has to be, of course, the potted plant, man. The potted plant definitely showed out all these other weapons now nah, all jokes aside it would probably be the legos the legos was it's just legos man if you've ever stepped on them you know the immense amount of pain that brings so imagine your bare skin all your weight being slammed onto them probably not a good feeling but comment down below let me know your favorite weapon from this video appreciate all love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace